MPC 3410 Thackeray, Lancashire Constabulary, currently on secondment with the Northwest Police Underwater Search and Marine Unit. I've been asked to record some of the features of the river wire near to Allotment Lane uh, in relation to the Nicola Bully inquest. Today is Tuesday the 4th of April 2023, the time by my watch is 11.07. Currently stood uh, at the bench where we believe Nicola was last before she may have entered the water. Um, as you can see, as you go down to the river, it is quite a steep slope. The river is probably down about half a metre from uh, the day when we attended, when she went missing. If you can get to the bottom, you can see there's quite a large step down into the water. Hopefully you can see on the screen, there's a pile of rocks. That those rocks constitute a wall that goes pretty much vertically straight down in the water to around four meters of depth and then as you go out across the river it slopes gently upwards with a sandy bottom towards the far bank if i get into the water <coughs> it doesn't look like it's flowing very fast at all at the moment on the day in question you could see there was a, a steady flow downstream. At the moment we're above the weir and the whole time we were here searching the uh, the water uh, was flowing downstream towards the weir. Again all of this was searched on the night in question by officers wading in a line and we could see the whole width of the river. As you get to the weir itself, hopefully you can see there's a lip, but there's a lot of water going over it, even though the water is now down from where it was on the day, it comfortably pushed me over, floats over the top, and straight into the faster flowing water at the bottom. It's not powerful enough, there's not a big enough drop on the other side to stop you. Again, we did search the other side of that weir to make sure there was nothing trapped in it. So I stand up now, it's waist deep, flowing faster. The bottom is rocky, difficult to stand up on. It does shallow to here where I'm about knee deep. Now below the weir, this river is tidal, and so it can flow in both directions. Again, when we were here, it was all flowing downstream on the day. But I believe at the time she went missing, it would have been low tide. So before we arrived, there would have been a high tide that pushed things back up. And then it would have started ebbing away as we started diving. I believe the fire brigade were searching downstream. Um, and they were here before we arrived. We arrived about 3 p.m. and started diving at 4 p.m. If you look to the left, you can see there's a sandy bank. Over to the right, you can see there are some trees where someone potentially could have been caught up. These weren't searched by us on the day. But I believe the fire brigade were in a boat and were searching in and around all of these snag hazards. Still currently waist deep. And there are some more trees on this right hand bank that potentially could have been a snag hazard. In the middle of the river here, there is a shallow sand bank. There's a channel that runs to the right and to the left where it's deeper. I'm just coming onto this sand bank now. I'm coming up from waist deep to shin deep. But on either side, slightly deeper. So here I'm waist deep. You can see again man-made rocks and the wall on the way down on the river right 